Well, Microsoft has launched Project xCloud, which allows you to stream uh, games to your Android device uh, and also to your console. And uh, so let's take a look at uh, how you set it up and get ready. So first, let's talk about the requirements. There's a few requirements you need to have in order to be able to do this. First, you need an Xbox One console. You need to join Xbox Insiders. You need an Android phone on 6.0 or above or a tablet with Bluetooth 4.0 and an Xbox uh, wireless controller. Lastly, you need a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi or mobile connection. Well, on their Insider site, they show you that if you have a controller that's designed, one that came with the S or the X is designed with the button on the faceplate, you're good to go. Earlier controllers, not. Now, if you need a controller that's compatible, you can go over here uh, to Amazon or anywhere. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the description of the video where you can see the different controllers that are available. Uh, there's one down here is just a basic one. You can spend a lot of money on a controller. Uh, you can, uh, there's a whole Elite for 179 but here's a, a regular controller black, much like the one that comes with your Xbox One. So as the date of this video, you have to actually go to uh, Xbox Insiders and or InsiderXbox.com to sign up for the uh, trial version. But if you're watching this one and it's in public release, you don't need to have the Insider Hub. Uh, you can just need the uh, app. Okay, here's the app for game streaming on the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, and it'll be available for everybody, but if you can download it right now, uh, but you won't be able to use it unless you have a approved sign-in. But there should be no reason why you can't install it now. As a matter of fact, go ahead and apply to be on Insiders and then download this app. Okay, we've got the app and we've got an Xbox controller. And to pair it, there's a Bluetooth button right here at the very top. This is what you have to press in order to pair it with your phone. So you can do that manually, but here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to launch the app, and the app actually will detect whether or not you have a compatible controller installed. So you see here there's Gears 5, so I'm going to click on that, and then it presents me the screen to play it. I say play. It says, oh, we didn't find a controller. So let's click on Bluetooth settings, and it'll take you directly to your Bluetooth settings here on your phone. And you go in here, and you have to uh, it'll automatically start a scan, actually. So once it scans and you press that button we talked about, uh, then we'll see the actual connect. Now, depending upon your network and a few other things, it may take a bit. I have to do it twice to get it to come up. So I'm pressing the controller again. The Bluetooth screen is still in the scan mode, so it's looking for devices. And eventually, though, uh, what happens is, boom, there's the controller. Now all you have to do is uh, tap on that controller, and it says pairing, and... In a couple seconds, we have a controller. So now that it detected that, I can go ahead and go start the game. So if I press on Gears again, uh, it comes in and pops up. There's the menu. And uh, I can see a little bit of the movement here during the menu selection. If I grab the controller, you'll see that I can control this just like I do in the game uh, on the Xbox itself. Before we get into gameplay, uh, if you want to get back out and play a different game, you just hit your back button. I'm a little bit out of focus here on this, my video recording, but it's perfectly fine on the phone. You just uh, quit the application, you go back to the menu, and you choose a different game to play. So, now I'm going to apologize in advance here for my gameplay uh, on this. Uh, first of all, getting used to it. Second of all, it's resuming a game that I played on my console. So I, I was in a tight spot here, uh, and I had no ammo, so I'm going to get killed. So here we are. It resumes right from where my continue game on the Xbox left off. Now, hopefully, I'm going to get a little bit better, but as you can see, as I move around, everything works just like it does on the Xbox. Streams to your uh, phone just fine. I'm doing this over Wi-Fi, and there I am with no ammo and getting my rear kicked. But as you can see, the graphics animation looks perfect. It's really amazing what they've done. So I'm going to try for a few more seconds to try and uh, get out of uh, trouble here. I'm not sure. I have no ammo that I know. Oh, there. I got some ammo. Switch guns. Oh, too late. Well, anyways, you get the idea. 
Okay, one more try. Well, what happens if you get killed in this, just like the game, if you get killed and they don't revive you, uh, you can actually uh, go back to the menu, do restart from checkpoint, just like you would in the game, and uh, everything will be fine. Now, here's a little test I did a little bit later, because I bought some earbuds uh, that I can do. These are rechargeable ones I got off of Amazon. The link will be in the description of the video. But as you can see, there are rechargeable uh, earbuds, and they come with their own little case here. Uh, to see, because if you're in public and you want to play your game, you can have to just carry around your controller, your phone, and you're going to need some earphones, either wireless like this or some others. But let's take a look. But real quick here, you just pair these. These are called S2 uh, earbuds. You would already have some paired, or uh, you would pair them first, and then they'll appear here, and you can get into your game. So it operates just like it did before. The only difference being is that now I'm listening through these new uh, earbuds so that I'm completely private, uh, playing my game, uh, not bothering anybody. So there you have it, uh, Xbox X Cloud uh, Streaming uh, using a controller, Xbox controller, an Android uh, 6.0 version or above phone, a Wi-Fi connection on this particular case, or you can even have a a newer phone or a data plan that runs off of the new uh, 5G mobile uh, networks. However, uh, better have a good data plan. So here I am right back in it with no ammo. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoy. Hope it helps you get set up, get at least prepared for when this goes to general release. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.